Time for more fun with capacitive touch sensing with the Raspberry Pi Pico and CircuitPython. So this is this new thing. It's got three linear sliders and two rotary touch wheels, kind of like an iPod, and then nine buttons. And um, there's not really any components. It's just a bunch of resistors and then place for the display, place for the Pico. And this is an outgrowth of the Pico Touch USB MIDI controller world's thinnest <laughs> that I did about three years ago. It's in the Tendi store if you want to play. Um, you just solder down the Pico and uh, and, you're, and you're, you're good to go. This particular Pico is a purple, like it's got extra memory here and a USB-C jack. That turned into a MIDI synth, a full MIDI synth, MIDI in out, audio out. Um, that was a giveaway for the Sketchy and Hardware Conference. And then during the Hackity Supercon, I started playing around with these capacitive touch wheels. It's a special geometry of three capacitive pads and some math, and you can make this rotary rotary touch thing, kind of like on an iPod. And, um, and then that came out of the, and this board came out of that, which uh, is my second real KiCad board, which I'm pretty proud of. It seems to work. It's got internal cutouts, <laughs> weird, weird shaped uh, copper traces. But, um, but yeah, should I put this in the store? Uh, there, there's some changes I want to make to make it a little bit better for the display and stuff. Um, should I put these in the store? And I have a few, few left over after, after Hackity Supercon. They're pretty fun. Um, it's got mounting holes. Anyway.